beautiful. I will tell you what's not. This Burger King inspired theme for Visual Studio Code. And this. A very pink Barbie inspired theme. And this questionable Windows 12 concept. Now, if you're wondering what the hell is going on, then the answer is pretty simple. So basically, at the start of every new year, I like to try and freshen up the look of my PC. And one way that I do that is by basically reviewing all the themes that have been released for Visual Studio Code in the last 12 months to see if any of them are really good. So obviously, the three themes I just showed you were three examples of the worst and ugliest looking themes that I could find. So now we're going to obviously ditch that as an idea. And instead, let's look at the most downloaded and most beautiful themes and visual extensions for Visual Studio Code that have been released in 2024. The next extension has been installed over three and a half thousand times in 11 months, and it's called Kangawa Flavors. Now, this theme has been inspired by Japanese art. So you're going to get that elegant Japanese Zen vibe within your IDE after installing it. Now, a cool thing about this theme is it's got three different modes. So we've got Wave, Dragon and Lotus. And let's see how this looks inside VS Code itself. Cool. So let's quickly touch on how you can install any of the themes we're looking at today. So the quick, easy one is go to Visual Studio Code, click on the extension browser. And then for this particular theme, we want to do a search for Kangawa flavors. So K-A-N-A-G-A-W-A -A -A flavors. Now it's probably worth mentioning that this is a port of the more popular Kangawa, but it's been updated for 2024. Now, after you enable the plugin, you're going to have an option of using three different styles. Now, my personal favorite is Dragon. So let's start with that one. So if we look at this class, you can see that we've got this nice, cool, muted theme going on. So for my old man eyes, having a more cooler palette definitely prevents me getting eye strain throughout the day. And I quite like this lavender, this greeny, this pastely thing. And it really does work for me. Now, if I'm honest, I'm not sure about all the options here. I mean, look at this Lotus. I do not think I'll be using this anytime soon, but you know, if this floats your boat, good for you. And the other one, which I think is quite nice is Wave. So Wave, we've got this nice, cool, muted purple. Again, I could definitely see myself using this. So overall, I give this a big thumbs up. If you can imagine a futuristic dog DJing, you can probably picture how the next theme looks inside of Visual Studio Code. Now, the next theme is called Hard Hacker Theme. It's been downloaded over 6,000 times in less than 10 months. And for me personally, I think this is another aesthetically pleasing theme. So yet again, we'll be going over to the extension marketplace. This time you're searching for Hard Hacker Theme and you're looking for this DJ dog here. Now, after you enable the extension, you should see this nice pink and purple schema. And if I look in one of my classes, you can see this is livable. I quite like the muted tones here, and I think it stands out quite nicely. Now, as well as the default mode, we've got a few other options. So if you want a slightly darker background, you can go for the dark mode. We've also got higher contrast. But if I'm honest, I can't really tell any difference on my monitor between these two. Then it also comes with a light mode. Now, I'm not a big fan of light mode, but if this is your thing because you prefer all white, then you might want to give it a try. The next theme on my list is called Arif Code Theme, created by Arif Arrow Sid. Now, this has been installed over 1.5 thousand times, but the thing is, it's only been released in the last three months. So obviously, we've got something good going on here. Right, so to install this theme, just do a search for Arif Code Theme, and it's this Dash original one that we'll be reviewing today. Now, after you enable the theme, you can see we've got this nice muted color, and it's got a greeny, minty vibe to it. Now, if we look in my code, you'll see that again, this is pretty easy on the eyes. It's got a nice color scheme, so we can easily differentiate between all the different parts of my coding syntax. So for me, again, this is another nice theme that I'd consider using personally.
Now, I personally love the aesthetics of the previous extensions. However, we're now moving on to the heavy hitters. So these are the extensions that have been installed thousands of times. And the first extension that we're going to look at is called Jellyfish. And this is by Noro Devs, and it's been installed over 22,000 times within 12 months. So to install this theme, search for Jellyfish, and it's the one at the top here with this black little Jellyfish by Noro Devs. Now, after we enable the extension, we can set the color theme, and you can see that this is more of a darker vibe compared to the other ones that we've looked at. So everything is black back here, and if we look within one of my classes, you can see we've got this kind of bluey, reddy, purpley vibe going on. Now, I'm not a big personal fan of this type of look. I prefer something a bit more neon and pastel-y. However, this has been downloaded over 23,000 times, so what do I know? Next up, we have Chai Theme by Hitesh Kalkui. Now, this has been installed nearly 20,000 times in under 12 months. So let's see what it looks like. To install Chai Theme, search for CHAI Theme, and it's the one with the black icon with a tiny little cake. Ah, now after we enable this theme, you've basically got two color palettes to pick from. So we've got the dark chai, and you can see this is going to give you a dark blue all around your IDE. If we look at what my code looks like, you can see we kind of get a bunch of multi colors here. So we've got some pink, some oranges, some blues, some greens. Now, granted, I do think it's pretty easy to differentiate your code here. Now, this isn't really my personal aesthetic. But I could see why some people could like it. Now, again, because there's a few people out there who like the light mode, there's a light chai option. So this is quite nice. We've got some browns and some greys going on here. Now, white isn't my vibe, but if this is your thing, then hopefully this might float your boat. Now, before we look at the most popular icon sets of the last 12 months, the last theme I wanted to cover was the transparent color theme. So this is the third most popular theme that was created in the last 12 months. It's been installed over 12,000 times, and this is gonna give you that glass effect look within your Visual Studio code. To get going with this theme, search for the transparent color theme by Alex L. Now, configuring this theme is a little bit more complicated, and it does involve installing a second package. So if you look in the details page, you can see that in order to add the blur effect, we need to install this APC Customize UI++ extension. Now, the APC Customize U++ extension, super popular, downloaded over 37,000 times. And again, this has only been released within the last 12 months. Now, the thing we need to do here is after we've got these installed, is if we click on the extension settings button, we will have the ability to edit our settings.json. Now, basically, what you're going to have to do is install this little bit of config here. And it's very possible to get this wrong. So let's say that I put a zero on here. Now I shut down my Visual Studio. Now, if I reopen it, you can see that you can't see anything at all. I've made it completely disappear. So you do need to be very careful when you set this up. Now, if you do make a silly mistake like mine, you're going to have to manually find your settings.json in your user profile so you can revert things. But for me personally, I like the idea of having a glass theme. However, as you can see here, practically, I just don't think it makes it easy for you to actually look at your code because I've got a browser underneath my IDE here. and I just don't find this very easy to see what's going on. Now, obviously, you can play around with the background color and the transparency settings so your glass effect isn't as distracting as my example here. However, for me personally, I just find it too distracting and I prefer a solid color scheme. Now, just overall, I'd say the negatives about this extension itself is that in order to test your changes, be prepared to constantly close and open Visual Studio Code, which is a pain. But on the plus side, it does give you a lot of customization. So you can get that effect just right. So overall, not my cup of tea, but if you want glass effect, then this is a good one to try out. Right, now we're moving on from the themes and we're going to look at some icon packs. 
and the first icon pack I want to tell you about is Cappuccini icons from VS Code. Now, out of the icon sets we're looking at, this by far is the most used. Now, the impressive thing is that it was only released about 10 months ago, but so far it's been installed over 66,000 times. So this is definitely a dev favorite. Now, if you want to install this at home, basically jump over to VS Code, Marketplace extension again, Cappuccino icons, and it's the one with the pastel cap. Now, after you've installed this, if you jump to Solution Explorer, you will see that your icons have been automatically changed. Now, the default one, which I like, is this light neon version. So you can see we've got different icons for folders, and I think the ones for the different file types are pretty cool as well. Quite like this fav icon one here. Now, you can toggle through the different options from this button, and basically, you have a light mode and a dark mode. So if I click on the latte option, you can see here that the folders are a little bit darker. Now we do have these two frappe and macchiato, but as you can see when I'm clicking on them, the icons don't really change too much. So it's basically light theme and dark theme for most people. The next extension is definitely the least installed extension in this video. However, I'm gonna give it a break because it's only been released three weeks ago and it's already been installed over 400 times. So I expect this to grow quite a lot. Now this extension is called VS Code-Icons-Iconify and it's been created by LQY and now how is a person meant to pronounce that? Tell me in the comments below. Now this extension promises to give you real icons to VS Code. So let's see what that looks like. Now, once again, just so you can see how to install this directly within VS Code, click on the extensions button. It's VS Code-Icons Iconify, and this is what you need to look for. Now, after installing this set, set it as your icon pack. And if you jump to Solution Explorer, you can see this brand new icon pack. Now, personally, I really like the folder structure here because I think it really pops against a dark background. I also like that we have different folders for Git, a database, and I find it very easy to figure out the different file types. I just minimize my package folder. So you can see we've got stuff for JSON, connection strings, C sharp files. All in all, I'm pretty impressive. And then the final thing that I think is worth noting about this extension is that it has a bunch of settings so you can configure it. However, the most useful one is bring your own icon. So if you don't like any of the default icons, you're free to change it up and mix it up however you want. So that brings us to my final recommendation, Vera Code Nerd Font Icons. So again, this is super popular. It's only been around for about a year and it's been installed over 16,000 times. What this extension will give you is basically material icons in your Solution Explorer. It's also going to install the Vera Code Nerd Font. Now, just in case you haven't come across these dev fonts before, these are super useful if you want to do things like customize your PowerShell shell. Also, this is really useful if you want to run VS Code online in a browser because it's going to make it look a little bit nicer. So with that said, let's see what it looks like in Visual Studio. So once again, head over to the Marketplace browser, do a search for Fira Code, and it's this one here from NUIT that you want to install. So after you install this pack, if you set the Fira Code icon set, when you jump into Solution Explorer, you can see we've got this nice gray folder structure here. Now, I don't think that this really pops compared to the way maybe some of the other icon packs do. You can see that the files here, they don't really stand out. But if you just want a simple, very minimal icon pack, then this is definitely something to consider. It's also going to look nice online in a browser where you can't install custom fonts yourself. Right. So before we part ways, I thought I'd give you one added bonus, and that is a UI extension that will make it easier for you to read code. Indent Rainbow Blocks is a UI extension that's going to make it easier for you to understand how your code structured at a glance. Now it's going to do this by adding in these different colors to your classes and within your code to differentiate between the different indents. Now, this type of extension definitely isn't new, and there's one which is called Indent Rainbow. It's been around for ages, which is really cool. However, the differentiating factor with this one is it's got a really good preview. So clicking on the little icon down the bottom in the toolbox, you can see we've got this preview. Now, the cool thing here is that you can customize the different colors that it uses. And this means you can tweak this so it works with any theme that you install. 
Now, tweaking the default colors to use a theme of your choice is super simple. You can see here we've got RGB 1, 2, 3, and 4. Basically, you can either click on it, use a color picker, you can add in the RGB values, or we've got this slider so you can change things around yourself. And once you're happy, there's a big save new settings button so you can save your brand new settings. Now, my pro tip here for anyone who wants to change the default color palette and they're not a front end designer, if you go over to a website like Color Hunt, so C O L O R H U N T dot co, if you go over to their popular palettes, basically pick a color scheme that works with your theme, go over there, and then basically you can copy the RGB values into the plugin, and off you go, you're going to have a nice looking indent color scheme. Well, there you go. I hope that list has given you some inspiration to spice up your Visual Studio Code. Now, before we leave, if you haven't already, do not forget to click on subscribe, you little scallywag. Basically, my name is John and I release a video every Sunday that's aimed at making you a better developer and you don't want to miss out. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, show me some love by clicking on like. And the final thing is that if you want to learn more about Visual Studio Code extensions, then on the screen right now is my 10 best ultimate VS Code extensions. So check that one out. Otherwise, until next Sunday, happy coding.